Hello, my name is Matthew Shapton. Uh, I'm one of uh, the pastoral staff here at Holy Spirit Lutheran Church in Juneau Beach, Florida. And today is Monday, March the 16th, 2020. And in the middle of what is happening in our country, in our world with the pandemic that we are in now, uh, we're being asked to physically distance ourselves from one another. So because of that, we're not able to gather together in worship, to gather together for teaching and all of these different things here on campus. But we want you to know that we are going to work very hard to make sure we still find ways to connect with you. Connect with you for prayer, for meditation, for teaching, and yes, for worship during this season. And this is just a season of time. But know that God is with us in this season and through this season, there will be fruit that comes from this time of learning, time of adapting. So one way that I'm going to invite you to participate in this time, a way for us to connect, a way for us to uh, share the good news of Jesus Christ with one another, is to join me in a daily practice. And that daily practice is going to be the daily practice of confession. So I'm going to invite you into this space to hear words from our confession, from the Evangelical Lutheran Worship book, uh, to share a prayer and to share a reading that I hope will inspire you, that will help to guide you through this time, through this season um, that we're in now. We are in Lent, um, so confession is such a big part uh, of our Lenten experience, of our Lenten worship. So um, I invite you to listen. Uh, any feedback is appreciated. I'm going to ask you to, if you have questions, to go to the church's website um, to ask those questions, and we'll do our very best to respond uh, as, in a timely manner, as much so as we can. So please join me in a word of opening prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you stand with us in the shadows, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then, deal with us as seems best to you. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives all our sins, whose mercy endures forever. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I've chosen a reading from Psalms today. Allow me to read for you Psalm 73, verses 23 through 28. Yet I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to a glorious destiny. Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail and my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart. God is mine forever. And now a responsive reading from our confessional from the Evangelical Lutheran worship. And the response for each line will be, Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. We begin. Almighty God, for self-centered living and for failing to walk with humility and gentleness, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For longing to have what is not ours, and for hearts that are not at rest with ourselves. Holy God, holy and mighty, 
holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For misuse of human relationships, and for unwillingness to see the image of God in ourselves and others. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For jealousies that divide families and nations, and for rivalries that create strife and warfare, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us for reluctance in sharing the gifts of God, and for carelessness with the fruits of creation. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For hurtful words that condemn, and for angry deeds that harm, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. For idleness in witnessing to Jesus Christ, and for squandering the gifts of love and grace. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. God, who is rich in mercy, loved us even when we were dead in sin, and made us alive together with Christ by grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, your sins are forgiven. Almighty God, strengthen you with power through the Holy Spirit, that Christ may live in your hearts through faith. Amen. Please join me in a word of prayer. God of grace and mercy, we come to you on this day, this Monday, March the 16th, with feelings of anxiety, with feelings of fear. God, we would ask that you send the Holy Spirit to fill us with hope. Help us to feel your presence, Lord. Help us to see you in what's happening in the world. Lord, we lift you today, those who have weak immune systems, Lord, we lift to you the elderly and the young, those who are most vulnerable to this pandemic that is sweeping the world now. Lord, our hope is in you. God, we trust in you. God, we love you. Oh God, by the cross of your son, you, recon you reconciled the world to yourself, enabling us to live in love and harmony we thank and praise you for the precious gift of the forgiveness of sins. Help us to forgive each other and to strive for justice and peace in all the earth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, please pray with me the prayer that Jesus taught the disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. And now receive this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Beloved, until I see you again in this space, peace be with you.